User, user error. It's always user error. Anyway, let's go balls deep. Warning. The following show contains adult content, guaranteed rants, and a high probability of swearing. If you're under 18, or if you still find knock-knock jokes offensive, this is your cue to exit. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't say we didn't warn you. Hello, and welcome to the first Ramp podcast. I am Nick APD. And I'm Stu, Universal Toy Collector. So, me and Stu are going to take you through what we would like to think is a little bit of therapy this evening. But first, before we get into what this podcast is about, Stu, how have you been, mate? What's been going on? I've been all right. Well, you say what's been going on. Yesterday, we went to go and view a new property. Um, we put an offer in for new property. Come this morning, the offer has been accepted for the new property. We had someone come round to view our property. Um, I think it's next week we're having the photographer around and then our place goes up on the market. So we are moving. We are looking to move if it all goes smoothly. So that oh, is that is our plan. And it's all come so around very quickly. You've booked a photographer for your last erotic photo shoot before you move out of this place. Damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. And yeah. uh, you're going to move to a new neighbourhood and annoy a load of more, uh, new people. You've got new people to annoy coming yes, up. Yes, we have. So we're, we're literally moving probably two miles down the road. Um, it's a quiet area. Um, the, the, the complex that we're going to is predominantly of the older type of person. Oh, so an over 55s be, place. It's not like it's not like saga homes. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But but um, but yeah, you know, we just we just it's a, it's a bigger place, and uh, yeah, it's um, we've got two parking spaces, so no more damage to the car, hopefully. So uh, so yeah, it's all kicked off. It's all gone. It's just snowballed. It's just you know, one minute we're happy here, next minute we're moving. It's just so quick. It's it's phenomenal. I just think it's life's progression, mate. I mean, I know, I imagine the only reason Georgie can get into this over fifty fives place is because of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spouses yeah. can get. Well, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not. I'm not over fifty yet. I'm not even fifty yet. So how did you swing getting into a retirement place? Because apparently I look fifty <laughs> or over fifty. <laughs> it's according the beard, to some mate. people. <laughs> it's this the bit. <laughs> well, no, that's 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 wicked news. So nah, I'm, yeah. I'm good. Chuffed for you, man. That, that, yeah. Another another new yes. adventure. Well done. Absolutely. Well, that's what it is. It's just another chapter to our ever growing adventure. Anyway, enough about us. How are you? How's your week been? My, my week's fine. I've just gone back to work after two weeks off. So Monday morning when the alarm went off, I can only liken it to getting hit in the face with a frying pan. You know, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. when that all consuming, oh no, where's two weeks gone? So yeah, don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get it next week. I'll get it next week. Yeah. It's, do you remember that feeling you used to get on a Sunday night when you, when you were going to, when you were at school and you, for me, it would be heartbeat would be on eight o'clock at night. And then what would happen is you would. Um, that I can't was remember you that the... far back, Nick. I can't remember that far back, mate. Uh -huh. I forget I'm nearly fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I had that, I had that feeling of dread all, all weekend, but no, it was, it was absolutely fine when I got back into it, mate. And it's it's all a distant memory now, so not a lot to report yeah. other than I had an excellent um, week in Devon and an excellent week in Dorset where I live, then doing stuff, and so that's me. Noth nothing really going on other than spending silly amounts of money in arcades uh to get you know one pound fit toys you could get from the from the pound shop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. spending about 20 quid to get vouchers to get Absolutely. to get a toy that's, that's what it's been all right. about but now we've wasted five minutes shall we crack yes. on and let people know what this show's about i think we probably should yeah why not? i i i guess you want me to explain what the show's about yeah why not go for it <laughs> or do, you, you could do it if you want, but too late. I'm in yeah. now. Too late. Go for it. Go for <laughs> okay. it. Okay. So this show is the Ramp Podcast. So 
me and Stu realise that we spend a lot of time ranting to each other about the little things in life, the things that really get under our skin, not the big things. We're never going to be discussing politics. We're never going to be discussing what's going on in the world and anything like that. The little things, the tiny little annoyances in life, the things in your everyday life that just, oh, they get under your skin. So how thought, it is, Nick. They wind the shit out of you. Oh, mate, 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 does. mate. I, I tell you what, it, it drives some of the some of the things. I just think <laughs> I'm getting older and angrier. But I think we should should just get into it. And I'm going to say, well, no, well, let's, just, let's, let's, let's just let's just let's just step into that a little bit more. Let's go a little bit deeper. OK, okay. so the older you get, I mean, you're not that far behind me, Nick. The older we ten get years, 10 years, do, it, it, it's not that far. Right. The older we get. Have you found yourself getting more worked up over things? Your, yes. Um, yes. Oh, what do you call it? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. See, I get forgetful in my old age. Your tolerance levels. Do you find your tolerance levels have just diminished? My tolerance levels are minuscule these days. It's just the, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not that I even go out to be angry. It's not that I go out to get annoyed. I just find myself in a world where, I've, and I'm sure I wind other people up, but I find myself, I'm in this world now, and I just think, really, really, how has the human race made it this far? And I, I appreciate we're only talking little there things, but. Yeah. And it, they say in life, the small things in life mean the most, but the small things in life are the things that wind the shit out of you. And what we're going to be discussing, Nicholas, is the fact that things we're discussing are going to affect absolutely everybody. There's going to be things in here that people can relate to. It would have yes. affected anybody with, you know, during their, during their lifetime. I'm sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, I'm sure anyone listening to this will relate. Um, yeah. Thank you for, for expanding on that. Stu. See, this is, this is why I need, this is why I need someone else with me. Cause I'd, I'd just charge in Ed first me, but well, yeah. what I was going to say was, <laughs> I think we have to be fair. This this is the first episode. And I'm going to say, age before beauty, Stu, you're in the spotlight, mate. Give us your oh. rant. What's winding okay. you up, mate? So, so the thing that winds me up, and I can guarantee you that it will wind absolutely everybody up who's either watching or listening, and that is fucking roadworks. Oh. What an absolute bull lake they are. So... Just currently, I'm living in an area where they're doing massive roadworks on a major junction to the M25. And um, it's going on till summer next year. Aren't we lucky? And um, so where Georgie works is just off the M25, and she's got to travel through that every day. Now, one week, her car was up the spout. So it was in the garage getting repaired. And I kindly said, I will run you in in the mornings this week. And then next week, when I'm in late's, no, next week when I'm on early's, I will pick you up after work. So running them in in the mornings wasn't an issue. That wasn't a problem. Okay. So what should take there and back roughly takes about what? Half an hour. Half an hour. This journey took three freaking hours. Three hours. What? It is mad. Are yeah, you taking absolutely. the piss? Three and, hours for a, for a half yeah, an hour journey? No, seriously. Seriously. It was horrendous. So the slip road going back onto the M25 from where Georgie works, was blocked. It was gridlocked. Something was going down. I think there might have been an accident. For, I mean, we love sitting in traffic. We did it the past weekend. Brilliant. Love it. Got nothing better to do at our times than sitting <laughs> in fucking traffic. So, yeah, three hours. So we thought, well, I'll tell you what, we can't get out that way. And the, the, the funny thing is, I pulled up in the car park, right, and Georgie was walking out with her friend, and I said, we ain't fucking going anywhere, love. It's fucking gridlocked, isn't it? Exact words. I've never even met a work colleague before, so I felt quite rude and quite bad for saying that. But yeah, so <laughs> so that's going on. That's going to be there till summer 2025. Brilliant, right? But it's not just the big major roadworks that really wind me up. It's the little roadworks. We've had roadworks outside our house, okay? There was a burst water main up the road, okay? So they decided to close the road off down here and put traffic lights here, dug the road up and left it for a shithole, like for, for like over a week, right? So there was no one there. We had traffic lights for a week. So... That that's the we worst called part, and man. said, what is... They're never there. They're never there. No, no. We phoned them up and said, "Why? What's, what's going on? Oh, there was an emergency. They've had to go and do something else. What? So we've had, like, lack of parking outside our road because the lights are literally outside where we are. So we can't park for about four or five cars up the road. Yeah. 
it's just absolute bull lake, right? So we come out of there. I go to work a certain way. They've got a double set of roadworks on my way to work. So I think, do you know what? I'm going to use my noggin and go the long way around. Fuck me. There's roadworks on that road as well. <laughs> Why oh, do no, they do roadworks no. at the same time in the same area? You've got about four or five sets of roadworks within about four or five square miles of each other. It's a fucking joke. Mate, I can, uh, I can relate it, it to doesn't this. Doesn't that wind you up? Mate, no, it, not only does it wind up. So I told you I've just been on holiday. Go, going to Devon, I got caught in, in roadworks, which extended our journey by 45 minutes. I know on, on the grand scheme of things, 45 minutes may not seem a lot, but it's only a two-hour drive to where I was going. So it's nearly three hours. And as, mm. as for the p picking it up, like, oh, mate. So the village where I live in, so come out of my village, and I think I'm going to take the main road. There's like a main road down to where I live, the main town. I'm five miles just outside of the town. And I get there and they've got these temporary traffic lights set up and staggered. And they're not working. I don't just love it when the, when the temporary traffic lights aren't working. So someone's oh, going to have to commit. Yeah. Someone's going to have to. And you always get one person who won't commit. And I'm thinking, come on, there's too many cars for me to go round. You know, and they're, they're clearly not working. So anyway... This person finally decides to go after he sit there. And I think, oh, I know what I do. Exactly like you. I'll come back the back village routes. I'll come around the back roads. It's a little bit more finickety in that. Jeez, mate. Roadworks. Roadworks around the back route. So whatever way I went, I got hit by roadworks. Yeah, I know. I, shit, I wanted to it? run into town to get a quick haircut. Yeah. You know, because yeah. unlike you, I, I can't, you know, I have to, I've not lost it all. <laughs> I can't just clean it with a flannel. So um, I just wanted a quick haircut nip on in, you know, running a couple of beers for the most Saturday night viewing, frozen pizza from Iceland. I live like a king, mate. But no, no, I had to sit there and I, I feel your pain, mate. And, and like I say, going to yeah. Devon, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But and what gets me, Nick, is the, the road I go down to work, sometimes they do roadworks there. So you've got about four or five sets of traffic lights anyway. So what they're doing yep. is you've got a set of pedestrian traffic lights, then about 10 yards up the road, they're doing roadworks with a set of fucking traffic lights. So what happens is the cars come through on a green light, right? The, the, the pedestrian traffic lights are red. So they, they stop there and they can't go anywhere. And all the traffic is tailed back through the roadworks. So when our lights go green, we can't fucking move until they move. By the time they, they, they've all got through, right? The lights have gone red again. So you sat there for another cycle. And, ah, oh, mate, listen, I, I, I am the most impatient person in a car no. <laughs> as it is i mean georgie bless her does not like going out driving with me she doesn't mind it if she's driving right but she does not like you me impatient. driving can't believe it mate. five can't minutes down the it. road i'm effing and blinding it it, it, it it is that bad right i've got better things to do in my time than sit in my fucking car waiting for slow ass twats driving past right trying to get get through the roadworks it's an absolute nightmare and not only that they dig the road up they do what they've got to do. Then two weeks later, some other bunch of assholes are back there digging the road up because it's a different company and they've got to lay a different pipe. Do it at the same fucking time. Mate, that's that's the thing. That that, that never happens. It just never happens. And it's, it's like the robots they did near us. They they do it. They they still they still haven't. So go in the back route. They've literally resurfaced this massive great road, about five mile of road. They, yeah, yeah. they still haven't put any markings or anything on it. So I'm just waiting for that. And I get that the best time of year to do it is summertime because you can utilize the the light and Daylight, you're less yeah, likely yeah. to have bad weather and whatnot. So be there. Actually be doing it. Don't leave. Oh, nothing. They say, how many emergencies can there be? Because, mate, I'll tell you what, the amount of traffic works I go by and there's no one there. Yet oh, no. we still got all the traffic. And you just think, like you say, I just want to go. I just want to go and get stuff done. Yeah, it's... absolutely. Absolutely. And it's like roadworks on a motorway. They've got miles and miles and miles of the inside lane or the outside lane coned off. No fucking twats there, right? Just do it segment at a time. Why have they got to like do the whole road and cone the whole lane off for about four or five miles when they're only doing about three, four hundred yards at a time? Pointless. I think it's oh. pointless. It's just an absolute joke. And listen, so we went down to visit Adam Berry last yep. weekend, right? Or the, the real other toy weekend, dude, whenever it was. Adam Berry. Real toy dude, Adam Berry. There's only one Adam Berry. And of There's course, Martin Long was there and Lady Stephanie. They were there. So Adam on the way Berry. back, 
<laughs> yeah. On the way back, we hit major like traffic coming off on uh, junction, I think it's 29 of the M25. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to go, uh, we would have been going eastbound, right? So the traffic was built up westbound. So we thought, sod this, what we'd do, I've got a cunning plan. We'll come out of this traffic that's going on for about four or five miles, going absolutely nowhere because it was at a standstill. Wanted to drive underneath junction 29, come back round, come off at the next junction, and then come back up onto the M25 and join it and go westbound from the opposite direction. No, that wasn't going to happen because that was also tailed right back because there was an accident down by the, um, um, what's it bridge? Dartford Bridge, right? Mm -hmm. So in my wisdom, I thought, I'll tell you what, let's drive through London. What a fucking joke that is. Roadworks, just sheer traffic. And they had a fire that day as well. It was, honest to God, a Georgie was a saint and I had to keep my cool. But I I hate sitting in traffic. I hate roadworks. It fucking winds, my, winds me up. Proper makes hear, my blood boil. I'll tell you one, right? You know, you know, a few weeks back, and I appreciate this coming to cinemas again. Do you remember when a uh, month or two ago they re-released Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember? I I got really excited because I didn't get excited because my wife was going away for the weekend, but she was going away with her mum, taking the boy, mm. and I was excited because I thought I've got nothing to do, and then I realised I could book a ticket for this film, local town just up the road from me in Dorchester. Right? Should be yep. a ten minute journey. Oh no! Well, they had a Bloom Festival one in Dorchester, hot air Bloom Festival. Right. It was the worst managed thing. I was sat in that traffic because it bottlenecks as you come off the dual carriageway, it goes into a single, then down to another roundabout, and it just it it, it can get a little bit choppy. But I left yeah. with 45 minutes to get there, thinking I'm going to be there well early, get there, get what I need, sit in the aircon cinema because it was a really hot day. And um, so it got to the point where I'm looking, going, I'm nowhere near this place. The, the trailers will probably be starting in 10 minutes. And before you know it, I sat there for nearly two hours, completely missed the film, missed the film. Because wow. so if it's not if it's not road works, mate, it's road management. That's the other thing. You you yeah, give yeah. the okay for things to go on and put on these big events, but you don't bloody manage it properly. Yeah. And so I can all right, so the ticket was only a fiver, but that's not the point. It's, it's not the point. You sat there thinking, well, look at that. You know, we're trying to fix all these roads. We're trying to do everything, but that's all right. We'll just cook everyone like it's an oven because of all the, because of all the bloody emissions from the cars. You sat there thinking, you'll keep yeah. on at us about getting lower emission cars. We'll sort your bloody roads out so we're not sat in traffic all the time. I wouldn't <laughs> need to worry about getting a battery powered well, car, would I? There's one incident. Well, there's one incident, should I say, when I came, uh, came down to Fordenbridge. I came down to meet up with you. Yes, yes, you right. did. I get to a certain junction on a certain motorway, which was closed off. They diverted me at least 10, 15 miles out the way with every other bugger that when it, 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 I, I spent ages getting down there, didn't I? Absolute ages. Right. So I, I get down there. I remember phoning you saying, I remember phoning yeah. you saying, look, dude, if you want to, if you want to go back, it's only 45 minutes for me. Like, don't. Yeah, yeah. But you stuck. It was you, shit you weather. It the weather was absolutely piss poor. Right. I got down there. I had some bloke say, why don't you get that for a prize? And I was like, okay, so I had someone spending my money for me. Then I get a load of abuse from a, a waitress. Unbelievable. <laughs> you did and I was, not. I was, no, you did. I spent you longer, did get, I spent get longer getting down there. <laughs> I spent you longer getting down there up. than I stayed there. I was you, only there, what, won. about an hour and a half? I spent about two hours, two and a bit hours trying to get down there. But I no, know. she was winding me up. We should probably give some context to this. So me and Stu, cool. we decided to go get some lunch in, in the pub across the road from... What was we went to? Nice what, lunch what, Star, well, what Star Wars... Yeah, it was a really nice um, one. Uh, what Star Wars event was it we went to? Farthest From. It was Farthest From. Farthest From. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. really good. Really good little event. Yeah. Anyway, we decided to go get some lunch. A chap of us called Alan Dawson, he comes over to get some lunch and... Uh, I immediately have to run off and make a phone call to Carla because the Pogues come on the radio and we've got this little competition. The first person to hear the Pogues on the radio and that and phone the other person wins Christmas. I don't know why. It's just a, it's just a tradition. Anyway, so Alan and Stuart look at me because I'm literally at the table going, oh my God, oh my God, oh, Jamal. I'm like, oh my God, I got it. And you're like, what, what, what's going on? You thought there was something wrong, but no, I just heard the Pogues on the radio. Yeah, I, I and, still do, to be honest, but there you are. 
<laughs> well, I ordered a coffee. If I recall, I ordered a coffee and everything came fine. You did. But the young the young lady forgot my coffee. And when she came yeah. back over, I said, any chance of getting that coffee? Oh, I'm really sorry. I forgot. And I can't remember what you said, but it culminated in you commenting on her height and the fact she had shoes with about, uh, you know, eight inch thick heels she on did. them. She yeah. did. But I think she, she. So we asked for the bill. Oh, was that what and it I was? Said, I, at the end, I said, you know, would one of you, one of us asked for the bill. So she went to get the bill and I said, uh, do you think you're going to remember that? Uh, That's what I said. <laughs> I just said, you're going to remember that. And she just turned around and gave me daggers. Rude. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was a I good day. Remember, it, was, it was a good day. It was a good day. And, and to be fair, it was, it was, it was just a laugh with that waitress. No one, there was, there was no like serious offending people. Well, I think no. she just, I, you know. She probably thought you were my dad and it was your only day out that week. So she probably oh, cut you a little bit of slack. What? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I what? can hear you. You can't, I, I can't hear you. Well, I don't know what's happening to my bike phone. I ain't going to fucking hear you for there, am I? Can Old you age, hear me? Mate. No. <laughs> I can't hear you. What, really? Yeah, I can hear you. I just didn't want to hear you. All right, okay. Don't do that to me, mate. The, <laughs> she's like, you arsehole. You arsehole. I'm thinking, what's going Charming. on? My levels are good. This is yeah, what, If I can't hear you, I don't know why I'm tapping my microphone. Well, this is the thing with being friends with Stu. You just never know what you're going to get, do you? He just, he's, he's winding up oh, waitresses. No he's having road that. rage. No need for that. No need for that. <laughs> it's but, right, look, mate, listen, we... that's enough about my rants. What, what have you got a rant about? Uh, that super dry T-shirt to start with. How old are you? You're not. You're not 22, mate. What's going on? What, what's the matter? I like this. It's all right. It's all right. No, I'm. A, I'm, a, it makes, I'm, a, I'm a, makes me feel young. <laughs> I'm only winding you up, Stu. It's all right. It's okay. It's all Sorry, right. What? Do you want to what? know what I've got a rant about? Yeah. Not really, but as we're doing a show about rant, then I've, it's just well, my. I, I have to listen, <laughs> don't I? If you carry well, on, you. It, it, well. <laughs> Is it a case of you don't no. listen or is it a case that your hearing's gone? I don't know. Just just get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. I hope it makes get you it feel off better. off my chest. <laughs> what if I said to you, courier companies and delivery drivers? Well, well there you go. There you go. There you I, I, bet immedi- I bet immediately things have popped up in your head. I'm going to start. But, so I was gonna I was gonna have a little rant about something else today, and and I wasn't brave enough because it it, it because Carla would have Carla would have kicked my ass when she heard this bat. But I'll, I'll, I'll save it for next time <laughs> because I'm gonna show you a picture, right? And this this picture kicks off. This this picture was like the straw that broke the camel's back. This was the thing. Now take a quick look at this picture. Anyone listening to this on audio, I'll describe to you what it is. It's a picture of a green door. With a box yep. led on the floor, right? That's my back door. That parcel, in that parcel, that had been left out all day, were chocolates. Can I, can I just say for the people at home, your back door didn't look like that when I last looked. Oh, really? Really? I'm going to have to put an age rating on this now. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. We'll to... Well... <laughs> anyway, anyway, to get to the point, so you might say... What, what's the matter, Nick? Why are you worried about a, a parcel that's been delivered out to, to a door at your house? What's the issue? Well, I'm going to tell you the issue. I'm going to keep this picture up for a moment just because to go into the mind's eye, just to enrage me. This is my back door, right? <laughs> there are many like it, <laughs> but this one is mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on the floor there is a fucking box. And that box, the reason I'm enraged, because that box sat out in the Blazing hot sun all day today. That box had in it my beautiful wife's anniversary presents. Well, part of her anniversary present. Oh, One wow. of which things wow. being chocolates. Lint chocolates. The ones with the soft centers that melt just because just you look at them. You haven't even got to have <laughs> yeah. Superman laser eyes. These things just melt for the sake of bloody melting. Yeah, anyway, yeah. the reason this annoys me, probably should have took another picture to go with this, but I appreciate some people will be listening and not watching. To get to my back door, 
whether you come from the left or the right of my house, you have to walk past where you go to my front door where there is a porch. A porch which has a roof, shelves in it where you can put parcels. Failing that on all my delivery instructions, it says you can leave in the log store as well because, yes, I live in the countryside and I have a log store. But no, some random dick decided to walk past my front door walk round the back of my house to my back door and leave that parcel sat on the floor like that. Wow. Right, wow. Right, wow. Yes, wow. Yes, wow. But this, this is only the tip of the iceberg there, Stuart. This is only the tip of the iceberg because I have another, I have another complaint about delivery drivers. Now, and it's at the courier companies as well because I'm going to, I'm going to say I appreciate these guys that they, they do work hard they've got a lot on and they're under a lot of pressure from their company so maybe this is the effect of their companies putting too much bloody pressure on them but someone's yeah. to blame here right I was working in my bathroom the other week right working in my bathroom now my house is a really really old cottage my bathroom is downstairs becoming a little bit problematic as I'm getting a little bit older and needing to get out for a pee in the middle of the night. And it's a little bit of a pain in the backside, <laughs> but there you go. We don't need to go into that. Anyway, I'm in my bathroom. It, I was on holiday, bit of a busman's holiday. I'm changing some things, fixing the bath panel, doing a bit of paint, just, just refreshing the bathroom, making it a bit nice, you know, because it was starting to look a bit worn. Now I only have single, panel glass windows because the property's listed we can't have none of that posh double glaze in where i live mate anyway oh, really really yeah so i've wow. got the windows open because i'm doing a bit of glossing in there now the only way you can get to my front door is to walk past my bathroom as this person would have had to have done today as well because my bathroom is downstairs so it's, and it's just off to the yeah, side yeah. of it is yeah. my porch now i get i get a notification on my phone saying Sorry, you were not, sorry, no, one of these notifications is basically said I didn't answer the door and it was Ikea chairs, a couple of stools from Ikea ordered for the kitchen and I'm like, you lying bastards, there is no way no one's been. So I've caught, I've caught this person <laughs> in a lie. I've caught him in a lie and I'm, ah, oh, mate, I'm enraged. I'm on the phone to him. I am on the phone to him and I'm kicking off. I'm going, do you know what? If there was a genuine problem or the guy was behind, I could have lived another day without the stools, but lying. I've caught you in a lie. And the person's like, oh, I'm really sorry, Mr. I'll phone up the driver and I'll tell them they have to come back today. And I'm, I said to this person, so are you going to guarantee they come back today? Because it's not the most important thing in the world. But what I don't like is that you've lied to me and the drivers lied. And this isn't the first time courier drivers have done this. They said, you know, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. no one was there. Right. The thing is, guys, you've got to get a bit smart now because not now, I'm getting a ring camera soon. Um, insert whatever <laughs> joke you want, Stu. Do what you want. Yeah, do what no, you want. No, I'm not gonna, <laughs> yeah. I know where you're going. Your ring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly. <laughs> um, wow. Right. So, oh, yes, Mr. <laughs> will get delivered to you today. I didn't. Two days later. Got it. It's fine. It's only a couple of kitchen stools. It's not the end of the world. But it's the lies. It's the lies. And oh, oh, oh. another delivery company. I get... You, you know, sometimes now they, they send you a picture on whatever app you're using to show you where they've yeah. left the parcel. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I look and I go, that ain't my front door. So anyway, I contact the company and I say, I'm really sorry. Your driver may have thought that they have delivered to my house. Yeah. But they have not delivered to my house because that's not my front door. And do you know what? They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. So I'm like, right, give me your email address. I'll send you pictures of my front and my back door. Insert joke there, right? And I will prove to you. I will take a video of you with my house. I can show you on Google bloody earth that that is not my front door because you can see my front <laughs> door on Google earth. Anyway, this person on the phone just doesn't want to listen. Anyway, so I've kicked right off because you have to kick off. Do you know what I mean? To get anything. Not shouting, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. persistent yeah. kicking yeah. off. I don't get yep. shouty or sweary with them, but I just will not drive. I'm like a dog with a bone, mate. I can tell you that much now. Anyway, so <laughs> they get onto it. And do you know what? It's a delivery company. They're delivering something from um, uh, that Timu company or whatever that Carla's ordered. She's ordered some bits and pieces. Or I don't even know what she's ordered. Okay, it doesn't yeah. matter. You know, it's not a week in our house if you don't get a Timu delivery. Anyway, so I go for a little walk around the village. I find this door, right? Then oh, wow. walk, walk up to the door, knock, knock, knock. 
So this is a knock-on thing from it. This isn't to do the... Anyway, stood there, did, 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 oh, they're not in. So I've, I've written a note, you know, uh, sorry, I've nipped back, written a note, gone back, knocked again just in case, right? Next thing, a neighbour comes out. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, a delivery man's left my left a parcel of mine in there. So uh, my, they're on holiday. All right, so many ideas where the parcel's gone. We're taking all their posts in. So have you got my parcel then? How do I know it's yours? <laughs> well, I can show you the picture on the app and I can show you my ID. And the fact I drink down the bloody village all with you and you know who I am should tell you that I'm not going to steal a bloody parcel from <laughs> Timu. Anyway, I get my parcel. So it's, it's, it's this whole knock-on deal. It's this whole ordeal, stew, And I don't need it in my yeah, life. Yeah. When I order stuff, I just want yeah. it to bloody arrive. Have you got anything yeah. similar? I, I need, I need yes, to take yes, I need I a sip of drink. So I, I now, I well, for the last four or five years since we've been here i've left a note on the door if we're not in right try number eight okay if they're not in leave the parcel around the side under the cover okay in the middle parking bay underneath yeah in the Seems gated reasonable. area right simple simple instructions the amount of times i've got home okay and there's been a parcel left right out on the front fucking door of a main road where any person can just walk past and nick it i've had one of my has labs left out there i was i was fuming i was absolutely fuming what part of this can you not fucking read and you know what i've written it in big capital letters like i like yeah because i asked for that quite a bit big capital letters and your so eyesight's going read it. yeah yeah and that as well right and i've typed it out as well so i've not actually written it in my squiggly handwriting that looks like a five-year-old's done it i've actually mm -hmm. typed it out on a computer and stuck it on the door right They've left it outside. This is a HasLab. That's a lot of money that's been spent on that HasLab. Do you want to just give some context to what a HasLab is, just in case anyone doesn't so know? So basically, a HasLab, if you don't know by now, is a um, a kickstart project that is uh, run by Hasbro. And it's basically, you've got to get 8,000 backers before they put it into production. Once they've done that, they do like loads of different tiers and you can get different add-ons and figures and stuff like that if you reach certain goals. And, and, Typically and what have a very you. expensive so, toy, though. Yeah, a very absolutely, absolutely. I left it on the front fucking doorstep. It's, it's it's a joke. So if numbers, I mean, what they could have left it in the porch. Obviously, no one in. Take it round the side, under the cover, right? And another thing, the amount of parcels I've I've found as well, round the back, just left outside in the fucking rain, in the but, rain, right underneath, underneath the parking area. What is so well, now difficult you see about my that? problem today, like, because I'm not being funny, mate. That, that, all right, it wasn't wet today, but it was bloody hot. We're in the summer in England and yeah, yeah, people, yeah. why can't they see? There's porches. All my delivery instructions say about my porch. They all say about the log store if it's really hammering down because my log store's got a big cover on it. Just put it in there. Do you know what? Use right. use a little bit of creativity. Put The recycling bin is next to my front to my porch put it in the recycling a bit bin of common a fucking sense, the door. Nicholas. a bit of common sense right now listen that you said a lot of these companies like delivery companies all right the drivers are under pressure right yes they are we get that that's totally fine right we're all under fucking pressure right yeah but have a bit of common sense about you have a little bit of something about you if you've got an item that looks expensive right do not leave it on the middle of the fucking doorway in the middle of the street where the whole man and everybody can see and walk past. Do you know what I mean? It's infuriating. That is just on the driver. That is stupidity at its best. Well, and you, we how should, many videos? We are right to call these dickheads out. How many videos do you see on the internet where they've, people have been caught on ring cameras, drivers fucking throwing parcels over fences and things? And then you yeah, think to yourself, yeah. Uh, that's that's malice, man. That's just who in their head goes, oh, I know what I'm going to... Uh, there was one where they could see on the parcel it was something like a PS4 or a PS5. And this woman just launches it over the fence and you think to yourself, did did you see what that was? Were you a bit jealous? What what went through your head to yeah, think that yeah. throwing that far... I, I mean, I don't know how much a games console now. Five, six hundred quid, I don't know. But it can't be far off of it. And yeah, you just think to yourself, what's wrong with him? So yeah. But do you know, do, do you know their comeback? They come back as well. It should have been um, properly wrapped and properly packaged. Oh yeah, maybe. It's a parcel, but... not a fucking football. Yeah, yeah, and and I should and I should wear a helmet when I ride my bike. But it doesn't give doesn't mean because I'm not wearing a helmet, you can knock me off my bike. You know, I should have been wearing a helmet. <laughs> I know it might seem a crazy yeah, yeah. thing to compare it to, but let's yeah, we're yeah. going to go down logic like that. It should have had, it should have been. Well, no, because I tell you what, if it, in my job. 
I, you know, we have to do things to a standard, like we yours. Things have to be done to a standard, and we're checked on it, and we are monitored, and there are targets yeah, yeah. and everything. You know the normal thing. And and as you say, everyone has days where the pressure is on. And I, I will give them a little bit of a little bit of relief on that. But here's what here's one I forgot. Here's one I forgot. You know, the other week because I'm getting old and I had to have a load of dental work done and an op on my sinus and everything right oh yeah yeah yep. my phone starts ringing and this is the day after i've had all this done and i'm, I'm led in bed i'm like oh fuck is going on i can barely speak because my face is all stitched together on the inside i went to go to the back door to open the back door and for whatever reason i couldn't find my my back door key and um Carla had gone out, so go to, and I'm shouting for thing. can you walk round to the other door, sorry, my front door, I went to go to my front door, can you walk round to the back door, because I know I've got keys in it, right, so I, I can hear him, because I can hear him, oh, fuck's sake, da, 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 da. anyway, I get around the side, and I went, can you just <laughs> confirm for me it's from this company, oh, sorry, can you just confirm for me it's from this company, because my friend, and he, and he looks, he goes, and I hear him, and he, he clearly goes, for fuck's sake, and I went, excuse me? No need to swear at me, mate. And anyway, this this kitty must have only been about to and goes, oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean it. it's not aimed at you. It's not aimed at you. I was like, I don't care who it's aimed at, mate. I don't care how busy you are. But if I went to work and did that to one of our customers, I'll tell you what, I'd be I'd be in for it. He's like, oh, I'm really sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, mate. I'm not going to report you, but learn a lesson. Learn a lesson. And obviously, he's probably all he's heard from me is... <laughs> <laughs> Because my face is all stitched up, but that's what I tried to I mean, say. I mean, to be fair to the kid, when you speak, most people go for fuck's sake anyway. So, I mean, you know, he's not the only one, is he? But but there you go. But Stu, but Stu as much as I'm ranting on this, <laughs> you'd know me in person. I'm not an ogre. I'm not a horrible person no, I know. to deal with. I know, I know. I know. And I know. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite polite with people. And I, I give... E you are. Look, everyone, I treat everyone with... Absolute respect. You've uh, and until the second you're a dickhead to me, I'm not. You know, I'm absolutely sweet. I, with I can I can actually vouch for that. He is generally quite a nice person. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Checks a very post. nice person. I would have sent a bank transfer, but you're too old to understand what one of them is. Anyway, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, an internet transfer. That would have really confused you. But yeah, so that's 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 my rant, mate. I mean, I'm sure there's other people out there. You, Ah, oh, mate, do you feel do you, as you get older, you get these little veins. Apart from starting to go grey, which I'm, I mean, you, you've just lost yours, but I'm, I've got, I'm going through the grey stage. I'm not going through the losing it stage, right? right. Ten For those years, of mate. you who aren't watching but you're listening, yes, I'm bald and I'm getting old. It's what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? He looks like Jean Luc Picard if he grew a beard, <laughs> a Santa beard. <laughs> but, 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 but all, in all seriousness, Nick, do you think that it's right? to call these companies out i think it is i think it is because i'm sorry who whether it's on the drive whether it's because the drivers are stressed as we say there are instances where the drivers are stressed and they're overworked and that is that is on the company you know treat yeah there's plenty that look there's plenty of documentaries and reports out there about very big companies who treat their drivers like absolute shit and there's been claims going on for hours they've had to overwork so it's no secret out there it's no secret that they get a raw deal but i would agree with you that no matter how stressed you are no matter how busy your day is you don't need to swear at people for no reason you don't need no, to make don't. stupid no. decisions to chuck parcels down in areas like all right maybe by some miracle some miracle you missed my front door and my porch that you had to walk by maybe you did mm. but mm. put the box a little bit neater you know try and do something yeah. put, an, put yeah put something over it anything i don't know what you could have done but that was just shocking and do you feel companies care do you think their employees care i well I get the impression that all the companies care about is profit. They don't really care about Ooh. us, the consumer. And the problem is, if you have a company that, whatever they say on the outside about caring, about they care about their customers, right? As long as they're getting the profits, do they really care? And you've got to ask yourself, when you've got, and I'm not naming out any one company, you've only got to get Google. Google the whole delivery driver thing, yeah? About what's been going yeah. on with big companies, right? Um. If companies don't care about their staff or they put them under this sort of pressure, why are these people going to care? I mean, I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying people should be launching PlayStations over fences, leaving things no, in the no, rain. No, no, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. 
but, but the I amount think, of I times think most companies are, i think most delivery companies are the same it doesn't matter what delivery company you use oh, they're all the same they're all they're, they're all, they yeah, are they are. all the same it doesn't it does not matter what delivery company delivers to me it's the same you take your life in your hand i mean but it's like I says, the lies when they say they've been and they haven't. Just phone or send an email. We're not going to make yeah, it yeah. today. It's very rare that there's something I need that urgently. You know, there are instances, but few and far between. I I, I have Don't worked lie. for a multi-drop company before in the past. And I've got to okay. say, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Did not like it at all. I didn't stay very long. In fact, it got to the point where I actually drove back to the depot with a half a van full still of parcels that I needed to deliver because I thought, fuck this for a game of soldiers. And the manager pissed me off. So I, I told him you pissed me off and you carry on and I will be coming back with a full load of uh, parcels. And he he did. He just persisted. So I said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll see you. I'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes. And lo and behold, I, well, it was longer than 10, 15 minutes because I was in a, about 20 miles away. But I, I come were, back. You were and, in bloody road work. You were in traffic work. You were, you were in road work. Road <laughs> yeah, works, I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was <laughs> Just in to tie this up yeah, nicely. It, 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 it's horrible. It's horrible. If my camera's moving, I am sorry. I need to just, this thing is really, there you go. But yeah, it, it, it's not a great job. It's a horrible job. It's a, it's a thankless job. And you just get absolutely shit upon from a very big height. Mm. They're not interested. They're not interested, these companies. I just They're not. want to add on something you say guys if if my camera has blurred out at any point i apologize massively i just live in the arse under nowhere the internet connection out here is just rubbish but as long as the audio is all right you don't really need to see my face but yeah i think i've do you to wrap this up because we're getting towards the end of this episode right we are we do, are do you feel as though do you feel as though you've had some sort of therapy though tonight do you feel better i for do i do chest? and and the thing is nick the, the the thing is the good thing about going first is because you get it all off your chest you get it all off your chest but then i've just had to sit and listen to you for 20 minutes waffle on about fucking shit and delivery drivers and now i'm feeling angry again <laughs> so it's 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 a double edged sword. It's just a cycle. It's it just going to go is. round but and yeah, round. Yeah, no, I I do, and I I I think it's right to um to to um to call out these companies. I can't call out but, the Roadworks because I don't know who they are. It could be it's any Roadwork company. They're all as bad as each other. Anyone, anyone. Delivery so, drivers, all as bad as each other. I'm going to say to you, Stu. Yes. I think we've come to the end of this. I feel I've I've I feel yeah. better and enraged all at the same time, but we don't want it all to go away. Thank you for joining me for this adult therapy session. And no, no, thank you for inviting me. It's been it's been it's been a pleasure. We will be back. We will be back. Yes. This yeah. this isn't a one off, and what I would say is if you where, wherever you're listening to this, you can always go to the YouTube comment section and drop in any little rants you have because we'd love to hear yours. The little things, like we say, the little things, not the big issues of the world. Don't care, you know. We're not interested in talking, politics. We don't want to know about politics. In politics and all the stuff that's going on in the world. We want to hear your little rages. Do you get annoyed with baristas in a coffee shop? Do people talking at the end of supermarket aisles when you're trying to get past them to the checkout annoy you? Because if they do, <laughs> tell us. Because yeah, we want to hear do. from you. But yeah. thank you so much for tuning in yes. and listening. I have been thank Nick you. APD. And I've been Stu, Universal Toy Collector. And this has been the Ramp Podcast. See you on the next one. Bye, guys. Sorry, hang on. What the what podcast? The what podcast? The Rant? The rant, the rant, the rant, the rant. podcast. Right, I'm just the ending this recording podcast. now. I'm ending it now. I'm ending it. You toffee nose. No, I'm ending it.